Hello and welcome to Vanguard Live Sports. My name is Davila Ubnushaki. And of course, today we'll be running you to, uh, through all uh, some of the things that we're doing, like um, yesterday's results, um, uh, match results, uh, today's fixtures, and also uh, Boba Bills, uh, Man United as the biggest club in England and the lead on working with uh, Bruno Fernandes and also um, sports to resume with uh, non-combat sports and that is coming from uh, um, Diary, Sunday Diary and um, um, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer hopeful that Pogba will sign the new Man United uh, contract so now over to today, uh, the first one we're looking at now is uh, Pogba Bills uh, Man United as the uh, biggest club in England and the lead on working with uh, Bruno Fernandes. So uh, the France International are uh, revealing in, the, in this resurgence is being enjoyed by the Red Devils with those at um, Old Trafford remaining as ambitious as, as ever and that uh, Paul Pogba is enjoying watching uh, Bruno Fernandes uh, at Man United and claims the Red Devils remain uh, the biggest club in England. Um, with uh, Bruno Fernandez um, eating the ground running at Old Trafford, you know, questions were asked at uh, Old Trafford. Questions were asked whether uh, Pogba could miss, uh, you know, could raise his game when fully uh, fit and form a devastating um, partnership with uh, the Portugal international. You know, talking about uh, Pogba when uh, when Bruno Fernandez was first signed in into. Uh, Man United as a January transfer window, people were asked if uh, both of them would really, really work together at uh, Old Trafford. But you know, talking, looking at both of them, I think um, Popova is saying that uh, you know it has really, really been good. So the early signs have really been uh, encouraging with United uh, stretching their unbeaten uh, run to 16 games in all competitions. Ole Gunnar Solskjaer has uh, admitted to being hopeful uh, when it comes to uh, trashing out fresh teams uh, with uh, Pogba, bringing the endless uh, speculations regarding his future to a close, and the 27-year-old uh, feeling good again about his game. Uh, United uh, remain in the hunt for a top four finish uh, this season, along with FA Cup and Europa League uh, glory. And Ole Gunnar Solskjaer says that uh, says that he has been linked with. Um, you no know, says that he's really really hopeful that Pogba will sign a new contract uh, with Man United. You know, if you can actually recall, Pogba has uh, been linked with a move to uh, Real Madrid or his former side uh, Juventus, and we've had a lot of Man United fans saying they don't really want Pogba to go. And you know, and some of some persons were really doubting his skills because uh, you know because of his injury. But uh, thanks to the you know to the long um, holiday because of the pandemic disease coronavirus the items and uh, breaking the sports he has really really to return back and um, strong and fit so the, uh, the france uh, world cup uh, winner made appearances in all competitions uh, in eight competitions rather during an uh, injury uh, each season before the coronavirus lockdown but his return to fitness and form since football resumed last month has packed up among uh, supporters that he could stay at um, United beyond uh, the current campaign and also talking about su uh, supporters of course one of the supporters is uh, of course my United coach and that's uh, Ole Gunnar Solskjaer so away from that uh, let's look at um, yesterday's um, results uh, talking about uh, the uh, Premier League champion that's uh, Liverpool uh, that, and uh, that's a uh, Brighton versus Liverpool of course uh, Liverpool won the match 3-1 uh, and all action uh, masterclass from uh, Naby Keita and the uh, mastery from Mohamed Salah drove uh, Liverpool closer to the objective of surpassing the, the record point total uh, in England top flight uh, history against the Brighton uh, side seeking to better their highest uh, ball in the Premier League a 14 position and 53 points separated the teams uh, ahead of the kickoff, but there was equality in the way they both perceived their, of course, their st uh, stylistic uh, DNA. You know, Klopp uh, says that uh, Napiketa is getting better uh, step by step, game by game, and he's also happy at that, uh, that time. And he says uh, that uh, they were really, uh, of course, they did uh, underlook Brighton when they went to play the match. And he says, uh, of course, the goals were good, though they could have actually scored more. But um, of course, that's pretty old. If they wanted to score more, they would have, but uh, that's pretty old. And he believes that they really deserve 
the goal and you know talking about them um, of course breaking the record and actually um, you know surpassing the record points we are really looking forward to that you know seeing if they will get more than 100 points uh, that man city have really set down so um, liverpool of, of, of course his teams and the supporters are hoping that they will get this to pass this note so we are looking uh, of course we they still have more matches to play and of course we'll see how the results are you play and uh, also, also talking about uh, Mass City uh, versus uh, Newcastle United. You know, yesterday, of course, uh, Mass City won the match uh, 5 0. And uh, of course, Mass City they were quick, um, you know, this was a quick opportunity for them to, you know, to put the frustrating defeat as uh, some something behind them as they welcomed them um, Newcastle to Etihad. You know, so DC City dominated the match on Sunday, but uh. You know, fell to it 1 0 defeat and remained at uh, four points, uh, sealing uh, the Champions League qualification for next season. Uh, Man City won 5 0 and became the first team in Premier League uh, history to have uh, five different players score at least 10 goals in a single season. Riyad uh, Mirez uh, moved to double figures uh, for 2019 20 when it's uh, slotted home. Uh, Kevin Brunez uh, caught back to make it 2-0 uh, against uh, Newcastle. Uh, of course, uh, De Bruyne himself has, uh, has 11 as does uh, Gabriel Jesus, who opened the scoring against uh, Steve Bruce's side. And uh, City top uh, two scorers in the league this season are uh, Ryan Sterling, um, Ryan Sterling with uh, 13 and uh, Sergio Aguero on 16. So uh, City are uh, the other first team in England uh, top flight uh, to have at least five players uh, reach the 10 goal mark since and Everton in 1984 um, 85 season and all uh, these goals uh, from Isus and Mirez uh, took uh, Pep, Guardiola, Pep Guardiola's side to 83 in the league this season nine more than uh, newly crowned uh, championship <laughs> of course the uh, Liverpool champions and of course talking about uh, Sheffield United and Wolves of course, uh, John scored with uh, practically uh, the last touch of the match to give um, United um, a precious uh, victory and then to uh, Wolves' uh, Championship League uh, hope. So, so and the Blades climbed to 7th place, just a point behind uh, Wolves in 6th. And of course, uh, talking about Wolves still in this point, of course, 6th uh, and 5th. They just need to, they really need to, to work hard if they know they still want to achieve this goal. And talking about uh, West Ham and Burnley, of course, uh, Burnley's hope of European qualifications were uh, boosted by completing the double overall arm with a 1 0 win, uh, which owned uh, plenty to some uh, fine goalkeeping from uh, Nick Pope at the London Stadium. Burnley is a third 1 0 in the four games, moved them up to ninth in the Premier League. Uh, table and of course let's take a look at uh, today's fixtures um, for the premier league of course um, everton will play uh, southampton today and everton have uh, of course their level on the premier league table with uh, 44 points and uh, southampton at uh, 12 on the premier league table with uh, 43 points and um bournemouth will be playing tottenham uh, bournemouth is 19th on the table with 27 points and tottenham 10 on the table with uh, 48 points while um, aston villa 18 place aston villa with uh, 21 points will be playing man united is number five on the table with uh, 55 points and of course man united also they've not given their up their hope of of course uh, qualifying for the uh, champions league and we are looking forward to how uh, this match will be you know some pe persons are saying of course you can't uh, there's no team that you can just uh, look at and say of course we can win it is not just that you just have to prepare just like liverpool believes that uh, anytime they're having a match no team you can't underestimate anything you have to prepare for them like uh, of course everything like you're playing uh, a big team play the small team like a big team and every team that has been able to enter premier league of course none of them want to be relegated of course aston villa is uh, among the teams that are really really uh, facing a uh, relegation and talking about uh, la liga of course uh, today's fixtures in la liga uh, maloka will be playing the uh, levante and hilba will be playing leones while an um, atlantic club will be playing the uh, sevilla and of course that's uh, all on premier league and uh, talking about um uh, Ibrahimovic, 
Ibrahimovic says that he is a player, a coach, and also a president of AC Milan. Of course, as Latan Ibrahimovic said, uh, he was everything to Milan and could have helped the club to win this year uh, if he had started the season with the Italian uh, Giants. Uh, the 38 uh, year old striker is still having an impact on Italy's top flight and took his goal tally in uh, the, his latest uh, million stint to six points. Uh, to six when he scored from the penalty point spot against the Juve in a Milan's 3-2 win at their now fifth on the table. Ibrahimovic, um, of course, has been hailed yeah, as a role model for his uh, Milan teammates and added that, of course, he's a president, a coach, and a player, but also the only, but they only pay him as a footballer. So are you expecting them to play you as a coach, a footballer, a player, and also president of AC Milan? Of course, if that's your, uh, that's what your agreement is with them, because they will pay you for that. So the former Sweden international um, is out of contract at the end of season of the season, however, and he acknowledged that he may not appear in front of a of a, a San Siro again. And talking about a Nigerian football, you know, a lot of persons have been looking at it, saying. Uh, when we uh, Nigeria, of course, football league resume, you know, yesterday when we were on, I was having a sport, uh, of course, with um, Victor Winyaka yesterday, you know, I saw uh, many of the comments and Nigerians were saying that, uh, of course, why are we discussing, why are we not discussing Nigerian league? Of course, uh, we know that uh, they've not uh, resumed due to this coronavirus pandemic. And we know, of course, uh, even though you want to watch football, the cases keep increasing daily. And of course, uh, so talking about from the sport aspects, you know, them not starting yet is also for the health of these uh, footballers. And of course, when they start again, we we'll start discussing, uh, of course, the Nigeria uh, Premier League. Uh, and talking about, uh, of course, the compact sport tourism with non uh, a sport tourism with non compact for, and that's coming from Sunday Diary. It says that plans have reached advanced stage to have uh, Nigeria sports back on stream uh, post COVID 19 with non combat sports, sports like. Uh, table tennis, lawn tennis, track and feet set for um, early return. Um, Sunday uh, Diary says that they hope that the athletes can get back to action soon with non-combat sports. And although no date has been set, but you must submit to the COVID-19 protocols in line with the parties all over the world. And they've submitted uh, their protocols and hopeful that the athletes will be back soon. Of course, we are waiting for them to come back soon, but, of, but we have to look at their health. And also, you know, talking about these cases increasing, increasing daily, you know, them playing, with, they also be playing uh, without uh, fans. And, uh, you know, when it comes to this uh, Nigerian football, you know, a lot of people, a lot of uh, these teams, they really get their strength uh, from the fans and the encouragement and all this. So I think, um, you know, looking at it, saying that they should not be back yet and saying they'll be back yet, well, the, uh, the, of course, everything is still left in the ministers and, of course, uh, from the health, anytime they say they're ready, of course, we will be ready to also watch them. And that's all we have for you on today's uh, Vanguard Live Sports. Don't forget that you can always get more of our stories on our website and that's uh, www.vanguardngr.com and also follow us on our Facebook and our YouTube and also subscribe to our social media platforms that are showing on your screen. Don't forget to stay safe, protect yourself and also protect your neighbors. It's bye from me, Damnola Bushaki.